All right, moving right along. Hello, Sharp Goat followers. Welcome to week number eight. I'm going to start adding an intro into each one of the videos since, you know, the first uh, first challenge video, the first critique video that I do usually gets the intro, but I also realize that not everybody watches all the videos. Some people do, and for those who do, I love you, but I understand that some people just want to watch their own, so you're selfish. But anyways, no, I'm just kidding. So I'm going to add a little intro to each one. So uh, this one, thank you for submitting or for checking in for those who didn't participate who, but who want to watch the critique for week number eight. Uh, I understand it was a challenge because a lot of people missed their DSLRs, but the challenge was to take what you've learned from the past few challenges on the DSLR, put your DSLR away, and get out the smartphone and apply what you've learned to uh, to your smartphone or your iPhoneography. Um, and already I can tell that people may not have had fun with it, but I can definitely see that people's skills were bumped up uh, when they went back to the iPhone. So uh, let's jump right into Bang. Hello, Bang. How are you? All right, first shot here, butterfly. Oh, taking pictures of insects, they're so tough. Uh, I just finished talking about that in Melissa's ladybugs. They're such a pain. So, uh, no settings, Flickr, why no settings? Urgh, sometimes Flickr does this, it just doesn't pop up for some reason. It's helpful, but you know, I know you shot it with a... Well, actually, I don't know what phone you would have shot it with, Bang. I never know what phone you're using nowadays. But anyways, um, this here. Did you add light into the scene, or is this just sunlight kind of crafted? It's kind of just being flagged off, not hitting this rock, but hitting here? Or did you use a flash? Uh, I don't know. Actually, let's check your notes. You guys send good notes. I need to bring them into the critiques more. The only edits I made were crops. Everything else, the phone just does. Cool, okay. So, uh, all right, so this one here, uh, it's a nice shot of a butterfly. It kind of loses the darkness over here. Uh, and I was gonna say go black and white. No, that's stupid. You know, it's it's got killer color. If you could throw it into an app that would I, that would black and white everything except for the orange, that would be awesome. But I know that's, even for a phone, that's, that's a bit of a challenge, a bit of a stretch. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty butterfly. Again, whoa, dude, these things are creepy. Are these around your house? That one looks, that, that's like that's like an owl. It's, also, it's kind of weird how you can, you have this uncanny ability to, uh, like the insect whisper to, uh, whisper to take pictures of insects without them, you know, them posing. This one, I like a lot better than the last one. Last one, okay, it's a nice butterfly, cool. You know, it's just chilling. But here, this is nicely composed, big difference. This one here, kind of plain, you know, still pretty, but this one, more going on here. Uh, I like how it's vertical, and I love the composition. You, you're, you're loose, you, loose of the lower thirds. God, why can't I talk tonight? Your use of the lower thirds, so it's framed just a little bit lower, so you get much more of the stem that's going up here, uh, and the other green up here. It's, it's a more nicely composed shot. I like this one more so than the other one. The other one is kind of lukewarm. This one is a little bit, a little bit hotter. Uh, and this one here. What the hell? You, 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 where did you, oh. I can't take pictures of insects, apparently. I tried to take a picture of a butter, or not a butterfly, a ladybug today, and it was the toughest thing I've ever done, actually. I've, I've taken pictures of insects before. I don't know why this, it just wasn't working for me today. It just wouldn't sit still. It was being a bit of a bitch. And it was, I think it was just playing with me. So, anyways, um, I'm amazed that, you know, you got such, such wonderful pictures of butterflies here. So this one's cool. This one's also pretty. This is this one. This one's also really well composed. Got two of them here, um, and uh, it's slightly distracting with these two people in the background. But it's also kind of nice that they're there, just adding a little. I kind of wish they were gone, actually. So I realize again, you don't have that much control over taking shots. You know, asking you like, hey, you two, you know, you know guys, can you just kind of get get lost? Um, normally, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be a jackass. Um, sometimes I do. Sometimes I like being a jackass just to tell people, eh, move, please, or, you know, can you stand still? Um, but, uh, yeah, this one's a nicely composed shot. If you had the people out of there, it would be, I think, much better. Um, but uh, also notice that you properly expose for the butterflies here and not for uh, this background here. Again, the camera app that comes with your phone, it's stupid. It's going to look at the light and say, oh, we need to drop the exposure down. So that's why getting, you know, paying two bucks for a better camera app where you can actually adjust the exposure manually um, you know, and set it manually so you can say focus on the butterflies here and that is where I want you to get the exposure phone 
that goes a long way. Again, awesome. Oh, if only you could adjust the if you had an app that adjusted the shutter. Oh, it's a little bit blurry, but man, that's good. It, it got most of it here. That is a solid shot. I like that. It's a little bit noisy up here, a little bit here, but look at you know, the depth of field that you got here. This is all focus. Don't go back. We're not done yet. This is all nice and uh, nice and sharp focus, except for the little bit of movement, um, which again sometimes can't be helped because the limitations of the phone, uh, you know, and the app that you're using. Um, nicely composed. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like these, you're taking awesome shots with your smartphone. I think because you've taken a bunch of, you've learned a, a great deal of things with your DSLR. So now, now you'll find that uh, all for all the sharp coat uh, uh, photographers out there. Now you're gonna find that this is where the, that line. It's not the tool. It's not the camera. It's the photographer comes into play. So uh, this is where you know it, once you've learned. Uh, a great deal of things. Hell, maybe for challenge twenty, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna tell people go out and buy a one hundred dollar point and shoot camera and use that. No, I'm shut up. I'm doing something. Leave me alone. Uh, go out and buy a one hundred dollar point and shoot piece of crap camera and take some shots with that because then you'll see that uh, even though you're limited to the technology, you're, there are still things that you can use. There are techniques and and uh, you know things that you'll know how to make your shot better. Um, and in fact, that will be one of the challenges I think. But uh, you know, this kind of shot, I don't think a lot of people would be able to take unless they, you know, knew a few photography, uh, fundamentals first. So, and those are the things that you learn when you get out shooting in manual with your DSLR. So awesome. Nicely job. Nice job. Again, solid job. Great butterfly collection, man. This is, you know, it's great. Uh, yeah, not much else to say there. It's, it's great. It's a, it's a really up close shot. Look at this, you know, the fine detail that you can see in here. That you've uh, narrowed focus on this background's nice and blurry. A little bit of a distractor in the background. If you're gonna crop, I would crop people out. So I would crop, psh, drop that off. If you're gonna crop at all, but uh, yeah, this is it's it's lovely, lovely, and a slug. Ew, weird, cool, uh, cool, good looking slug. Is this through? A, it looks like it was shot through a window because I can see the reflection here. I know I included one shot of mine, uh, a challenge back there that was shot through a window, and it it's a challenge because you got to watch the reflections and also the specks of dirt. It's got to be a pretty clean window. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes you're limited to what you have, what, what's in your environment. Uh, here, you just missed focus. I think I would have put focus more on this guy, on this little, I don't know if that's his eyeball, but his antenna or or. You know, if it's his nipple, I, don't, I have no idea. But this little ball hit the ball there. But uh, otherwise, look at the detail of, that, of this here. It's just attracting that that detail that focus was lost on that little bulby. Um, but uh, yeah, otherwise, let's move on here. Fish, 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 fish. Lovely fish. I'm distracted by that exit sign. I guess is that a reflection or is that the on the other side of the? I guess it must be a reflection. Um, I'm distracted a little bit by that. Otherwise, it's pretty solid. I think it could actually do better more as a horizontal rather than a vertical. Uh, again, I don't know what is outside there, so I'm not sure what you had to deal with. But uh, but uh, yeah, it looks good. Jellyfish, jumping jellyfish. Mm, cool. This one, God, where did you go? By the way, yeah. Um, this one, I'm not sure. Again, it's cool that you're able to grab focus on this and lose this in the background. Uh, hmm. What would I have for us? Well, you know, first of all, it does look a little fuzzy just here, but at least you grab focus on this top portion here. Hmm, 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 hmm. I, oops, what did I just do? I opened something else. Oh, now let's just close that. I, hmm, what would I, what would I have done? I don't know, maybe even black and white of this, because I just think the, the blue around here just needs to get dropped down. If this were Photoshop, I would drop drop it into Photoshop, isolate the blue, and pfft, drop that down into black. But um, uh, obviously you can't do that so easily on the phone. But uh, mm, yeah, it's you know, it's good. It's a little bit overexposed on the jellyfish itself. I have no idea. I've never shot a jellyfish, so I don't know how else you would take a picture of it. Um, around here. Is that a blue whale? I think it is. It's either that or a Nazgul. I don't know. Um, cool. Yeah, this it looks like a uh, what do you call it? 
touristy photo though you know it's it's tough to take a shot of this because it's way so way up in the air uh tough to frame it up uh not doing much for me no so it does look a little bit touristy it's a you know it's a challenge to get that out of the way though i'm not sure how you would have um but uh yeah i don't know it doesn't do much for me some of these are really winners here of note let's see my favorites i think i'm, I'm gonna start picking favorites out of my out of the sets here out of the critiques my favorites would be uh, this one, definitely. That one's solid. And also, hmm, this one here. Actually, th this one. This one is my favorite. It's got a little bit of noise going on, but look at this. It's almost a macro shot. It's so close, so right up close to it. And you, know, you got so much detail in there, so much bokeh of the background. Um, yeah, if you just lost that person back there, otherwise this would have been spot on. Uh, yeah, I think this one's great. Thank you very much, Bang, for submitting this week. You've come a long way. I want to see you go a little bit further. So we'll be, we'll be back to DSLR and, uh, we'll push, uh, you know, we'll push our skills on manual a little bit further. So thanks a lot and we'll see you guys next week.